We're getting a piece of breaking news now in the wake of that mega cash haul. That's 351 crore, ladies and gentlemen, by the IT department from Congress MP Dhirat Sahu. Now, Prime Minister Modi has hit out at the Congress once again. He has tweeted, and I quote, In India, who needs money heist fiction when you have the Congress party whose heists are legendary? for 70 years and counting. Strong words coming in from Prime Minister Narendra Modi in the wake of that stunning cash seizure, ladies and gentlemen, from the Congress MP Dhirat Sahu. Remember, in Godrej Almiras, you had over 350 crores in cash stored very neatly and you needed a team of over 30 officials who took almost three days to count the entire cash. Cash machines were breaking down in the middle of the entire counting process. But Prime Minister Modi has continued the offensive. Home Minister Amit Shah also raised this point uh, in Parliament yesterday. But Prime Minister Modi continuing the offensive against the Congress party. He has tweeted, and I quote, In India, who needs bunny heist fiction when you have the Congress party whose heists are legendary? for 70 years and counting. I'm joined by my colleague Aman Sharma on the broadcast. Aman, so Prime Minister Modi launching that offensive against the Congress party. Now, after the victory in the Hindi heartland, the focus is the 2024 Lok Sabha elections. The Modi government had the issue of nationalism, had the issue of Hindutva to target the Congress party. But what was missing was that, was that plank of corruption or was a burning issue of corruption to take on the Congress party, something that was the giant killer in 2014. But now it seems Prime Minister Modi has that ammo to take on the grand old party. Yes, Aishman, definitely. And this case, the case of Tirat uh, Sahu has come into the national spotlight also with Prime Minister Narendra Modi's tweet a couple of days back when he highlighted the newspaper report to show how hordes of cash were being seized from Dheeraj Sahu's uh, premises. And today, the, again, the tweet, which has come on the BJP's uh, tweet in the morning, the Prime Minister writing on the BJP's tweet saying that in India, who needs the money? He's fiction when you have a Congress party who's these are legendary for 70 years. The BJP launching an all-out attack on the issue of Dheeraj Prasad Sahu on the Congress, especially questioning why the Congress party has not taken any action so far for the last four days, despite these big cash seizures. Uh, we have ministers now speaking out saying that any other party would have at least suspended somebody like Sahu. For, uh, some people even think that Congress should expel him. Uh, BJP MPs are also asking for him to be expelled from the Rajya Sabha, but the Congress has not taken any action so far. The only reaction we have seen so far from the Congress, the national leadership of the Congress saying that they have nothing to do, his businesses have nothing to do with the party, while the Congress party in charge of Jharkhand, Mr. Vinash Pandey, who went to Jharkhand in fact yesterday, said that an explanation has been sought from Mr. Sahu. Now the BJP is questioning why, what sort of explanation is the Congress seeking from Mr. Sahu when there is overwhelming proof in form of these hordes of cash being seized from the residence of Dheeraj Prasad Sahu. And the Prime Minister leading the attack now on the Congress party on this issue. I think this issue is going to become a big problem. For the Congress in the coming days, we could see some action on this front, at least from the Congress, with the political heat rising against him, the Congress party sources. Some of them saying that, you know, nothing has been put on record by the income tax so far, and nothing has been said publicly whom this money belongs to. But politically, it seems it's the issue is now starting to hurt the Congress. With both the Prime Minister, we saw Mr. J.P. Nadda lead a group of party MPs to Gandhi statue yesterday in the Parliament to lead a protest on this issue. The BJP putting a lot of pressure here on the Congress party to act against Dheeraj Prasad Sahu. And I spoke to Giriraj Singh, Union Minister, earlier today, and he alleged that is the party not acting against Dheeraj Prasad Sahu because this money was meant for the Congress leadership. Such kind of questions now are also being asked by BJP's ministers. Right. Right. Also, Aman, at the same time, this kind of very uh, keen shift in the Prime Minister's messaging when it comes to issues like this, is this a bit to woo younger voters on the road to 2024 when it comes to targeting the opposition? Uh, yeah, yes, Aishman. If you see his tweets, in fact, the Prime Minister's tweets have become far more forthcoming, far more, you know, uh, regular on these issues, more and more frequent. And the attempt also is to tell the first-time voters, you know, to connect with them. We have seen the Prime Minister's handle become very active, even on other uh, uh, platforms like Instagram and Facebook as well as on Twitter, trying to connect to the young voters, trying to remind the people that you look, this is the Congress history. And as you correctly said, that in 2014, when the Modi government had come for the first time to power, it was on the plank of corruption uh, that the UPA had run corruption scams. And right now, the, BJ the BJP trying to rake up this serious Prasanth Singh Sahu issues to stress that, you know, nothing has changed in the, in what one minister told me, nothing has changed in the Congress DNA of corruption. 
that is what the bjp is making a big issue of in the coming days we will see if the congress does not act against the dilit sir that how there is expected to be more action and we, we could even expect the cbi and the ed to now intervene in this matter after the huge seizures made by the income tax department absolutely the bjp there led by prime minister modi trying to resurrect the corruption plank against the congress party aman at the same time it's not just dhirat sahu many of his family members also have connections to the congress party but the congress party seems to be content with saying that he has to explain the money trail but the bjp is saying that you wanted ramesh biduri out out of parliament over comments he made but after this massive cash haul why isn't that same demand coming for dhirat sahu Exactly. See, his family has had close connections with the Congress. The family is, uh, has been associated with the Congress since independence. That's what Mr. Deepak Prasad Sahu claims on his official website. Mr. Sahu has got a Lok Sabha ticket twice from the Congress. He lost both times in 2019, uh, 2009, and 2014. But still, he was given a Rajya Sabha ticket three times. He is presently third time in the Rajya Sabha from the Congress. His uh, elder brother, uh, Mr. Uh, elder brother Shiv Prasad Sahu. has been a two time mp of the congress his younger brother mr gopal sahu has also contested on a congress ticket in lok sabha in 2019 from the hazarigbagh constituency against jayant sinha gopal sahu lost that seat there are also reports that gopal sahu and dhirat sahu have both served as the treasurers of the congress party in jharkhand so the family clearly has very very close connections with the congress party bjp even saying that it seems that lok sabha tickets were virtually available on demand for the for the family of dhirat prasad sahu these kind of allegations coming from the bjp to say that how the congress has always gone the extra mile when it comes to the for the family of mr sahu but now is not acting against it for reasons best known to them right and aman at the same time we talk about the multiple you know issues that the congress party is facing after the loss in the hindi heartland the supreme court upheld the abrogation of article 370 now these glaring visuals of this cash haul 350 crores of dirty cash found with a congress mp the congress party is fire fighting on all fronts when it comes to tackling all these issues that they're facing these political setbacks that they are facing on the road to 2024 well, absolutely see except the telangana win uh, there have been various other setbacks for the congress especially the loss in madhya pradesh and chhattisgarh where their party was expecting to do very well the party did not have high hopes from rajasthan but definitely they had Hopes to win Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh. That hasn't happened, especially the loss in Madhya Pradesh by such a huge margin, where the BJP won by 100 and, uh, 163 seats, one of its best performances in the, in the state, despite an anti-incumbency of 18 years. So the Congress has suffered one setback after the other. Even the judgment that came from the Supreme Court yesterday, many Congress leaders are disappointed with that verdict. So, uh, uh, so there have been series of setbacks, except, except the state of Telangana. Which the Congress won and Karnataka, which it had won recently earlier this year, but despite and this uh, latest scandal, the corruption uh, allegations which are coming, the huge stashes of cash, the BJP raising it uh, as they should uh, politically at every platform inside Parliament, outside Parliament, and the Congress pressure on the Congress now to act, act against the Bhiraj Sahu is now right. Right, I'm also joined by R P Singh, BJP spokesman. on the broadcast uh, mr singh thank you for joining us on cnn news 18 prime minister modi launching this stinging attack against the congress party when it comes to this mega cash haul by the it department the congress party says is dhirat sahu who must explain the entire money trail how do you react to that well right from shukran days where money was found uh, uh, under the bed uh, and in trunks at that time in 1986 to sahu the congress has been the same i mean The seeds uh, of corruption and Mr. Sound, whether this money is of the, the Rahul Gandhi, Sonia Gandhi, Priyanka Vadra, or Mr. Robert Vadra, whose money is it? Uh, because uh, this this has not been seen. Uh, last time there was uh, Sokhan, now it's Sahu, uh, both Congress men and both the Congress leaders. So uh, Sahu need to come clean and uh, let the people know whose money is it. Exactly on whose behalf he was paying so much of money. Right, and Mr. Singh, but are you of the contention that this was uh, an election war chest for the Congress Party for 2024? Obviously, there will be a lot of pockets like this, countywide of Congress Party, where they would have parked their money or where the money, from where the money is being used in different ways for uh, for coming elections. Uh, otherwise, a zero fifty crore is a huge amount uh, for even for a businessman to. Keep keep at his house because in a normal course businessman like to invest and use the money in the businesses, not in 